Thomas Armitage asks us, connecting the offline and online experience. You see a lot of local SMBs, especially in legal, still running billboards, radio, TV, business, business after hours with a local chamber. Cool. Does it work? Maybe, but connecting it to the online experience for greater impact, greater recall, and making sure those efforts are tracked. That's where you can figure out what's really working or not. How do we track, how do we tie offline and online gi? So first, um, and thank you, Tom, for uh, this comment. Uh, Tom's with Smith uh, AI, by the way, and really sharp marketer. Um, so first, I'm going to start with, I'm going to uh, channel my best Conrad and ah. and uh, use words that I've been trying not to use because Conrad's been beating them up so badly, dark social. So when I think of dark social, I don't think, I don't only think of like what we mean by dark social, but I, th- I mean um, holes in quantitative attribution models, generally speaking, and where, where it plays into this offline stuff is this, is like, uh, to Tom's point, like you put a billboard up and you, yeah, sure, you can put a tracking number up there, right? Guess what? Nobody's driving down the road in Chicago, seeing your, uh, you know, tracking number, memorizing it or typing it while they're driving. Very few people are doing that. Now, if you're doing a brand number, right? You put a brand like 2222222, Glenn Lerner, that someone might memorize, right? So, and and if that's a dedicated branded tracking number in the ad, that might be a way to track. Um, I don't recommend that though. And anyway, my point here, this long-winded way of channeling Conrad is, don't worry about it. Don't worry about the tracking. Focus on the overall lift. Um, sure. Can you track brand queries in Search Console? Yes. If more people are searching on your name or your firm name, great. Can you try to use QR codes for tracking? Sure. But don't lose the forest for the trees. You know, marketing people, like myself included, have been beating this attribution drum, direct response attribution drum for so long that we've forgotten that like traditional marketing that is not as good at tracking, brand building, brand affinity, all this stuff, all this other like fuzzier stuff works really, really well. And so it's a balance. I'm not saying throw attribution out. And, and you can try some of these things. You can, you can try to put uh, dedicated tracking numbers in offline creative. You can try to use QR codes for tracking. You, sh- you should be keeping an eye on um, branded search traffic, both uh, paid search, brand and search, and as well as organic brand search. But don't conclude that because you're not seeing a huge uptick in brand queries in conversions from organic brand in you know your attribution data that someone hasn't been driving past your billboard every day calls you up one day and says hey you know my we're family member was in a car accident how did you hear about us i have no idea i've been i've been watching your billboards i did a search i clicked one of your ads i've been following you on social media like i don't know um so anyway Put put the put the qualitative question in your forms and put the qualitative question in your intake process, but um, I'm very convinced that we have gotten way too myopic about attribution. Hundred percent. I mean, absolutely, one hundred percent. And and I think what you need to realize, and this is different for every, every different firm, lives on a different reality of this spectrum. You have direct response, and you have brand awareness affinity. Direct response basically says, "I got hit by a truck." I need to hire a lawyer. I do not have a starting point and I'm going to query, click, call, and hire, right? That is direct response. They have no idea who you are. On the flip side, you have what I would call at the very other end of the stream, you have brand affinity. I like this lawyer. I have no idea what they do, but boy, oh boy, do I like them and I see them all the time. Every every firm lives on, and, and, and every client, every new prospect sits somewhere on that spectrum. The reality is in a multi-touch attribution reality where you have somewhere level of brand affinity and brand awareness they're going to be there's no way to build brand affinity with a single touch right the the brand affinity is repeated exposure over time in a positive sense and so you can't measure that down you can't pinpoint that client down down to that one individual channel it just does not work like that having said that on the other end of the spectrum if 
if it is direct response, if it is a direct response experience and it's the web, you actually can measure that. And it can be not the web too. It could be directly from radio, right? You can actually measure direct response and you need to because otherwise when you ask people how they found you, Google or the internet, well, that doesn't work. That is a completely, completely useless answer for you to evaluate how your direct response marketing efforts are working. And so this dual source attribution modeling where you are both automatically generating the last touch that had them get in touch with your firm, that will accurately, fairly accurately measure direct response, especially where direct response is online. But the other stuff you do have to ask. And in many cases, the only way to build a real deep understanding of how your marketing is working, where you live in a brand affinity or brand awareness model offline advertising, et cetera, is to ask that question and then go over the results, open-ended questions about how did you hear about us, right? And it's very difficult to draw the pretty MBA pie graph by doing that, but you start to really grok what's actually working for you, what is moving the needle. And the other part of this, all of this is very, very true. One plus one plus one equals seven in this. Your offline advertising is going to make your pay-per-click work better. Your SEO experience is going to make your radio work better. It is a one plus one plus one equals seven, which unfortunately, because I love the small, entrepreneurial, aggressive, scrappy people, makes it a easier venue for those firms that are playing in multiple channels. All right. Yeah. I'll get off that soapbox. No, I think that's right. And, and again, I think for me, it's like if I was going to put in a couple buzz marketing buzzwords... Be data informed, not data driven, right? Like don't, every, all these people are like, I'm going to, I'm cutting everything if I can't attribute a case to it. And I'm like, you're cutting off your nose to spite your face. You know, it's like, and I hate quoting him, but you know, it's Gary V. What's the ROA, ROI on your mom, right? You can't measure the ROI on your mom, but guess what? You're not making any return without your mom, right? And as we're coming just past Mother's Day here. So um, anyway, be data informed, not data myopic. Money makes a money.